Here we are, slide 12. In some cases, you may only bring in one movie clip to edit. Maybe it's a simple birthday presentation or something along those lines. But for most of us, I think, as for me, certainly, you are going to have multiple video clips for your composition. And just for giggles, I took my Canon D2i camera, put it into video mode, put it into 720p resolution mode, and I shot a few videos of two of our cats that drive me nuts around the house. Buster and Danny. So I had three video clips and I imported them all in and then as you see progressively in the videos tab area that horizontal zone remember we're focusing on the upper right hand corner of the big opening screen you can see my video clips lined up in a row with a thumbnail so I can see what they look like. Let's move on to slide 13. Starting with slide 13 we're going to actually build our little video show and presentation look at the upper right hand corner of this slide see those thumbnails that's where we were last time in the previous slide we're also now looking at kind of a zoom in concentrated look of one part of the big overall screen display the upper left hand zone but here's the point what you do to create a composition I'm going to recommend if you're new to this to check the storyboard mode it's a very simple concept it looks like you're stacking one picture next to each other or video clip or slide or whatever terminology you want to use but it makes it very very easy to understand the, the whole process so what you would do is you'd select storyboard I recommend if you're a newbie you would drag and drop your video clips from that upper right hand area that you see there where the thumbnails are into position and I've duplicated a couple of clips on purpose because we're going to have some fun with them in terms of special effects a little bit down the, the road from here. When you highlight a clip that's in your storyboard, the first frame of that clip appears in the upper viewing area. And you can see you have your usual play and forward and backward. And you can grab a still image. The little camera symbol there means you can grab a still image from your video if you want. All kinds of good stuff. So that's what's going on in, at this stage of the production slide 14 now some fun really starts happening we opened up some video clips we drag them into place into the storyboard line there as you see down in the lower left hand area and now look at the middle zone of the right hand side see those kind of colorful fish uh, images there and notice there's the effects tab the text tab and the transition tab and right now we've got the effects tab highlighted and this is just a little tiny taste of what you can do with this program in terms of all the fun special effects but what I've done here in this little demonstration there's the little video of Danny the cat and it's the second clip two identical clips in a row if you look at the lower zone there and what I've done is I dragged and dropped the old movie special effect where it kind of goes into a sepia tone and it adds scratches and other things to make it look like an old real uh, that is R-E-E-L an old real black and white film so you just grab the effect you want if you wanted multiple color or mosaic or all those different choices but in this case I grabbed the old film I thought that'd be fun all I had to do was just drag it over and plop it on top of the video clip in question so that's what I'm trying to indicate with the orange double arrow and then once I did that, ta-da, when you look up in the player window, because that clip is highlighted, you can see the sepia tone effect and the lines to make it look like an old movie. And when I played this back, it was really cool. It definitely made it look like it was an old, old movie. There's another really cool thing I want to point out. In the lower note there, great effect is sharpen and blur, especially the sharpen effect. That was really cool. I had a couple of videos in my collection that I thought, I'm going to try this out, especially from tape. So I brought them in, and I was able to use the sharpen feature to really enhance some of my videos. So that's a cool feature to do. So that takes care of where we are with this effects tab. And again, I have just glossed over it. There's so much more you can do with it when you start playing around and exploring this feature but let's move on to slide 15 here we are on slide 15 and of course so far again we have found video clips we dragged them into the storyboard line we highlighted a clip we went to the middle part of the right hand zone of the screen we were on the effects tab and we selected the old movie effect we dragged and dropped it onto one of the clips there of Danny the cat and that's what we've done so far but now if you click the text tab you can begin to add text titles in front of your video clips 
as many text titles as you want and you can pick a lot of different f formats and versions uh, unfortunately this little cutaway screen doesn't show all the choices that are available there's a blur title there's a bouncing characters which is really fun I happen to select that one for my little video video presentation what that does is it you type in what you want to have have it say and I typed in Danny the cat with an exclamation mark and when you play back the title it's an animated bouncing character title the letters for each word kind of bounce into place it's really cute lots of fun and once you type in what you want select the uh, type of title slide you want animated title slide you simply drag it into place so I dragged it to the beginning of my film strip or my movie line here storyline and there it is and then you can always play back things by the way at any point in time you can play it back to see what your little production is going to look like so the point is the text tab makes it very very easy to select from a wide range of special effects animated text slides to pop into place anywhere you wish in your storyline so let's move on to slide 16 slide 16 now the fun keeps building and building as we create our video production notice I've clicked the transition tab in that kind of mid zone on the right side of the screen here and there are many many transition choices this means how you move from one clip to the other a classic is simply fade out fade in real simple but you can do lots and lots of different kinds of transitions I picked the arrow wave and again all I had to do was grab the effect I wanted the transition effect I wanted I selected again arrow wave dragged it to the little symbol you see the little symbol that's residing between the video clips or the title slide in this case in the first video clip simply drag what you want in my case once again arrow wave dragged it and popped it on top of that little symbol and ta-da you can see in the video player look carefully at the video player you can see the title slide Danny the cat transitioning to the video in this really kind of cool effect of these arrow swirly kind of wave lines very very cool and very simple to do so that's a point I want to stress extremely easy to do let's move on to slide 17 slide 17 okay we have finished looking at that effect palette area there that m kind of mid zone on the right hand side remember we looked at the effects tab the text tab and then finally the transition tab now let's move up look take your eyes up to the upper area here where we have the videos tab and notice we now have the pictures tab highlighted and what you can do there no surprise you use the import feature to bring in still images and the ones you're, you're seeing right there is my wife and daughter and uh, there's another close-up of a really interesting old building in downtown Hillsboro, Oregon where I live and you can just import line up your pictures get them ready to go and then gosh no surprise you can drag your pictures down and insert them in between video clips so I took the picture of my wife and daughter popped it in the position there in the storyline between two video clips and here's something that's very very cool that makes it like a slideshow making program or it actually is you can double click the image and set the duration of time that you want the image to appear in your presentation so you're not forced to have it just sit there for a specific time or a default time you control that that's important too if you're gonna add recorded narration to this and we'll talk about that perhaps a little bit later okay let's move on to slide 18 slide 18 moments ago I talked about how great it is when you have a still image that you can set the duration of the exposure for that image in case you want to do narration now we're going to talk about doing just that in this kind of zoom in of the overall large screen area for the program notice the kind of red tone box that says select microphone the arrow is pointing to a microphone symbol you would click this up comes the audio recording settings box shown in the center here and you simply click OK once you've determined what you're going to use to record notice the select audio device so you gotta find your device in this case I'm using the little microphone that's built into the laptop computer for this little test and I clicked OK I recorded my narration figured out the time of my narration and that determined the time of exposure for the slide that I applied the narration to really great feature let's move on to slide 19 